It's been two months since a shark attack left an Oahu man without part of his leg. Mike Morita was surfing at his home break Kevalo's Easter Sunday when the incident happened. Now Morita's out of the hospital and today returned to the place that changed his life forever. Nikki Schenfeld has our top story. <laughs> The annual Friends of Kewalo's beach cleanup was particularly special this year when a familiar face in the lineup resurfaced for the first time since that tragic morning back in April. Morita's lower leg was amputated after an approximate 8 to 10 foot tiger shark bit him while doing the thing he loves most, surfing. Surprisingly, he asked me if I wanted to come here and I said, oh, are you ready? you know, to come to Kiwalos, and he says, yeah, I'm ready. Morita loves Kiwalos and still felt the need to give back to the place, despite what he lost. It's nice to be back to see everybody and just the atmosphere. You know, I, I love this Kiwalos, this Friends of Kiwalos beach cleanup. You know, we do it every year, and I always look forward to it because it brings the whole community here together, all of us brothers and sisters big inspiration especially him coming back and you know everybody witnessing hey Mike is back all right you know I think everybody is inspired by got a mic everybody even if you know they never meet him they heard his star here yeah. unreal the good size surf added to Marita's eagerness to get back in the water soon uh, I didn't set a goal you know and, um, I'm learning my goal, uh, I, my goal is to just get back on my foot and uh, be able to do things at home, you know, that's my goal first. Morita hopes to get a prosthetic so he can do the things he was able to do before, like collecting trash for the annual cleanup. Organizers say they picked up 200 bags of rubbish on Saturday while also hosting brothels and other fun activities, all to protect the place they love from development. We recoup all our money that we spend on protecting this place. Like, like our motto is protect, preserve, malama, Kiwalo Basin Park, and the surrounding shoreline areas. And honoring their good friend, too. We love you and we pray for you, and um, thank you very much for maintaining this positive attitude through this whole ordeal. It actually brought healing for both of us, you know, not only for him, but for me. <laughs> and looking forward to the day he's physically able to get back in the water. Nikki Schoenfeld, KJ2 News, working for Hawaii.